Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Frostpunk. In the last video, we kind of got a little bit more of the infrastructure set up. We do have some people going out and doing stuff. We have our fishing village outpost available. Um, it's going to be 100 raw food every day. I do... Let's see, what's this crew bringing back? Bring back 38 workers and 10... 38 workers, 10 engineers. And then I've got this team heading to the abandoned camp. I think they're going to the abandoned camp, then they're going to head to the Hanged Man Hill. I'm going to see if I can uh, pick up a couple of things. Note, I have no raw food, but I have eight, 188 rations. I've got 193 folks. Um, two people in palliative care. One amputee. But I'm also building an automaton. And the automaton, I'm probably going to have one I uh, get it up and running. I'm likely going to get a coal deposit down here and just set the automaton to it. And just have it just collecting everything we need. Or other option, I can go for some steelwork stuff. Let's go ahead. There as well, we've got um, 7 of 10. What does this building need? Okay, this is a cookhouse. I do have engineers available. I do have some people who are hungry. I do have some homelessness as well. And my goal this video, I think, should be to try to address that. We do have a massive cold hit coming. So let's go ahead and get a tent up and running. What is that? Okay. Go ahead and do here and here. I can't go here yet because it's not adjacent to a street, but I'm also go ahead and swing a road around here. There we go. If I build another road, that should be fine. And then maybe... Actually, no, the automaton's going to gra grab everything from the wood crates, the steel wreckage, and the... Um... Oh, this will go ahead and take care of that. I do have a few people who are not employed right now, which is okay. Uh, you know, a palliative care. We do have the Book of Laws coming, and I am planning to kind of lean into the order a little bit. What do we got here? Okay. Gonna head to Hangman Hill. It's gonna take them nine hours to get there. Research-wise, let's go into that as well. Coal mining optimization. Uh, it's gonna be 10% more efficient. The reason I'm going through a lot of these things is I have not played in about a week. So I'm trying to kind of get a feel for everything here. Steel Steamworks, uh, gonna be really helpful for the steam stuff. Infirmary, also available to me. I need to go into hunting tactics and flying hunters to free up more folks and kind of get them available to do things. I'm thinking... Um, depending on how much I get back from the cookhouses, these cookhouses I'm probably going to move as well back to here. Just don't want to get them out of the way. But I keep hearing the, the chunk. Let's see. Book of Laws, Adaptation. So we can do Fighting Arena and Public House and kind of head that way. I don't want to go Dueling Law. Uh, maybe I can't go Dueling Law. Let's absolutely go for Prosthetics. I think that's actually going to really help things. Okay, we got four people coming in. Yep. So I'm actually going to queue up one prosthetic for my amputee, and then I'll go and build the automaton with my last steam core. Still got two here. And if I can find a couple more, that'd be really super. I'm building the extra... Shit. I just realized I got 30 more people inbound. And the temperature's going to take a massive dip here today. Um, well, I got a steam hub here. Go ahead and kick you on. And do two more tents here and here. If that should be enough, keyword there, to bad food, overcrowded medical facilities, six overtime work. I can actually switch it to standard rations to get people to shut the hell up for a bit, but with tw 20 more kids and 10 more full workers available, children not in child shelters. We can probably go ahead and uh, address that too. Yeah, dang it. This building, the be it's the beacon that's in the way. Crap. Okay. I wasn't expecting the beacon to kind of overlap with stuff. I could probably set a guard tower in there. It says 44 kids are not in shelters right now. Like, Probably make something to do with that. These folks are working. Maybe.
A group has been rest this group has been through a lot, an avalanche at the Black Spire separated them from their friends. They beg us to help them. Alright, so yep, rescue people from Black Spire. And then when this team returns, I'll send them back out for a Black Spire. Building build okay. Everybody's building right now. Go ahead. I'm gonna overdrive this guy. Um Granted, it's going to be a bit of a strain on the system, however. This building is just outside of the heat range, so... Much as I hate it, i got to build another steam core there. Alright, we got research going. The child shelter should be fine. Discontent can go to hell. Um, very cold here. Let's go ahead and kick a heater into play for you. Heater into play for you. This is where the automaton's going to be very, very helpful. Once this prosthetic is done, we'll slap out an automaton, and we should be in good shape. I don't need to overdrive the generator the entire time. Uh, if anything, I should probably, once I get through this tech, go back and go for, like, steam level 2 to increase, what, increase my ability. Scouts have reached Hangman Hill. What do we got? Ooh! We cut the frozen body down and gently lowered it to the ground. There's a tool chest at the base of the spire. The chest we found contains an engineer's tools and a death note. You lured me here with promises, kept me in the dark, told my wife I died. You're beneath contempt. I hope you enjoyed my farewell gift. It seems that the people it was intended for never read the note. And we can only hope he doesn't become the recipient of whatever gift he left for them. Baron Hollow and Snowcat have been discovered. I can bury the man with his tools, but if I take him, if I take the tools, I get an extra steam core. So I've got to take that. Um, let's see. Snowcat here. Baron Hollow here. Let's actually go for the Snowcat. It's going to take me eight hours to get there. And... Okay. Got the prosthetic. Go ahead and go for the automaton. That's going to take my last steam core and all my steel. Whoops. Um, oh, there it is. Only getting four steel here. I'm not super keen on that. Okay, we're at 12%. This one's going to be tight. Crazy. Yeah, and if I had the steel, I could just switch around and go for that. Yeah, they're going to head back out into the Frostland. I'm going to send them right back to Black Spire. There's also the empty shelter, too. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, wait, wait. Dang it, dang it. They'll go to learn this stuff. Okay. Send them to White Pass, and then I'll send them to the empty shelter. Oh, cool. Here's the ocean. I hadn't seen that before. If I had... And again, just... Oh, here we go. Lost refugees found. Those refugees took a long turn at White Pass. They look around eagerly, longing for a hot meal and a warm bed. I've got 40 people homeless right now. And the bunkhouses, granted I could upgrade one of these things, but it's going to take all my steel. So, let's go ahead and do one. I'm just going to build those four there. Not that one. Okay, we're right at the cusp of having some problems here. Again, this is just to get the people into shelters. I could turn around and start bunkhousing them as soon as this group comes back. 43 steel, 15 workers. Yeah, we're right at the cusp of how much... Uh, it's just flickering on and off how much steel or how much coal we have. We don't need it to last that long. Um, we're at 20%. Coal mining optimization, that's good. Let's go ahead and go into the generator power upgrade. And we can turn off the overload on this and just go to steam level 2. Alright, let's go ahead kick this up a little bit speed-wise. Oh, here we go. We have our first automaton available. So I can put him in here. Um, I could turn off the heat for this building. And it's just going to be extracting 26 coal per hour. Well, if it's full capacity, I think it is. Got a lot of workers available. So let's go ahead and do this here. Okay, 
Not the greatest. But I'm also going to turn off the heat here. Um, let's go ahead and look into building a steelworks. Um, this place is so far away, I'm probably going to have to, unfortunately, uh, put another steam uh, hub down. I'm going to take all my steel. Yeah, if we do that, we can also include the factory in it. And the steam and the radius should, for this should include the new steelworks. I can put folks in there, no problem. Okay. So here, I don't have enough, I don't have enough for an automaton. I definitely want to get the research boosts to make it a lot cheaper to build them. Uh, core stress is at 37%. I got a feeling it's going to be a very cold night. Or I can emergency shift these guys to make them work. Functioning. No food. Okay, we've reached the snow cap. The snow cat is a wreck. It must have been going extremely fast when it hit a block of ice, perhaps in the dark or during a whiteout. The, in front, the front of the snow cat was completely destroyed. Inside we found two frozen bodies, some supplies, a family photo, and a letter from London. It ends, quote... The worst cold is still to come, but they don't say when. I wish our daughters and I were safe in the north with you already. 63 steel and a steam core. It's 11 hours to get back to the city. You know what? I'm just going to bring these guys back. They have got an absurd amount of materials available. 106 steel, 500 rations. Baron Hollow. Yeah, I'm going to go Hangman Hill. I'm going to make my way to Baron Hollow. I want to bring that stuff back. Do not get me wrong. I want those materials as soon as possible, but I also need... I also want to get as much stuff as I can explored. Bring those guys back, and then it's all good. Can I do a third team? Oh! Nope. Cannot create a new team. Let me go into the research here in just a second. Okay. Cool. Shut off the upgrade. New research... Uh, generator efficiency upgrade. Ho <laughs> ho, done. Hmm. If I had enough uh, for that, I would totally do it. You guys don't have coal on hand. Neither do these groups. Hmm. I'm going to switch to a 10 hour work day. Maybe save some uh, heat. This doesn't need to be operating during the day anyway. Yeah, there's no children in the shelter, so should, keyword, be fine on that front. Okay. Less than a day left there. I'm thinking... This is a dangerous thing, of course, for me. Alright, Hangman Hill. Head on to Baron Hollow. You'll get there overnight. Let's go ahead and... Dang, these things are huge. I'm going to get those two built and just send a lot of people out in the field. I've got a lot of unemployed uh, workers. Unemployed engineers, which is kind of good. Okay. That's almost collected. And we're holding at 11 hours, so I think we hit a bit of an equilibrium for the moment with this. Oh, uh, max available here. Oops. Definitely don't need that as a overload. This one does need to be, though. Okay. You're chilly without the heater. You're chilly with the heater. Go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, we should be fine. These two buildings, of course, don't need to be heated. They generate their own heat. But right now, it's more just getting these things out of the way, getting them on this outer rim. And let's go ahead and move... Here we go. 
There we go. I want to build the streets all the way around, so I can just put the hunter's huts out here on the edge and convert them into flying hangars when I have the materials to do so. All right, it's almost midnight. We're going to get a temperature jump here soon. Going there, I got 15 more people going to be arriving in the morning. I'm wondering... Oh, here we go. Load it! Here we go. Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. Damn, I need a steam core for that. This team does have to return sooner rather than later. Wasn't realizing this was going to need that. Uh, tech tree resources. Steam coal mine. Can't even see yet. I think I'm going to need to go for level 3 here soon. Then again, still want to get those hunting tactics upgrades done as well. Alright, 15 more workers coming in. Patience, the tree venesting. Okay, there we go. More roads being built. Alright. Go ahead and from there... We'll send them to the empty shelter. We know where Black Spire is. And actually we do need to double back and go to Black Spire. And grab those folks sooner rather than later. Okay, cool. More work, more hunters. More people getting sick because of the cold. Is this still collecting? Okay. Um, somebody commented in a previous video that even though the automatons are off doing their own thing, though they're off doing a recharge, it's still collecting coal. So we're good there. Alright, we've reached Baron Hollow. Coal mine and a rock slide. Six hours, nine hours. I'm going to go for the nine hour one for the coal mine and then bring them back just to drop off their stuff. That seems to be the way to go. Um, I'm not going to send anybody here until it warms up a little bit, which is going to be in a couple hours. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send it to level 1. That's going to buy me some time. New team arrived. Another group of refugees have reached our city. On the way, they spotted a ship some distance away from the landing site. Alright. While we're going this route, let's go ahead. Still need that coal mine. So, the landing site is way the hell out here. So, what I'm probably going to do is go to Empty Shelter, Landing Site, come back. These guys, um, they'll go to Coal Mine, Our City, Black Spire. It's the only way we're going to get these uh, things done fairly efficiently. There we go. Get a thaw. Alright. Let's go ahead and make one prosthesis, just in case we need to... Do an amputation. Coal mine, coal mine, coal mine. I could go for a thumper, actually. Drop a coal thumper down. If I did that, I'd want to do it away from everything. Wait, if I don't research the... Oh my god, I haven't researched the coal thumper yet. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, okay, oh damn, we have to actually go to Black Spire. Okay. How long to get there? 20 hours? 14 there. 4 there. I made a mistake. Okay, they have to go all the way to Black Spire. What was in the empty shelter? Oh wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, explore. Damage Snowcat Research Outpost. 
Okay, they have to go back to Black Sp or they have to go to White Pass. I forgot about the time, uh, the time crunch on these guys. Mistakes have been made. Okay, it's warmed up a little bit, so I'm gonna send some people out here. It's just cold, but I'll have them go ahead and pull this stuff out. Okay, we got the prosthetic done. Do we have any more options for? Coal mine can go there. Coal mine is there. Steel, steel, steam. It's an outpost. Okay, cool. Generator efficiency has been researched. Can't put it there. Don't want to put it there. Okay. Um, that's really good, too. So many things I need to research in so little time in which to do it. Um, I'm short on the mechanical calculators. Steam steel works will get me more. It only takes me 30. Let's go ahead and redo that first. Because if I can increase the steel, I can start building up these houses a little bit better. Got 14 homeless. Go ahead and... Damn it. I need that one core back. Okay, they're an hour from there. No, nope, that's where I was going to go. Tech tree. So I don't get additional scouts till level 4. Oof. Thirteen sick. Let's go ahead and drop another medical post here. And I will admit, I, I'm conceding that this mission is this. Uh, obviously, this one is harder than the arcs. The arcs was incredibly easy. I was hoping that. Um, the arcs is the easiest one. This one is kind of on par, it feels like, with a new home. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem anything wrong with the machine, or it could easily restart the operation, or it could achieve a number of raw materials if we took it apart. We could take 823 coal, or dismantle the machines, and get 86 wood and a steam core. We're only going to take the stored coal and come right the hell back. It's going to take 8 hours. We're going to fill up on coal very fast with this. And it's going to give us a little bit of time to get this up and running. And we got one day until the next group comes in. Look at look at all those supplies coming in. 500 food, 82 raw food, 2 steam cores. Sorry, burp. Uh, 300 to 300 of that wood. Plus 900 coal. Maybe I need to build some more... Okay, good. That's perfect. I can actually build houses here now. Um, damn. I was kind of hoping to build it there. No, wait. That's a gathering depot. I want a resource depot. Seriously? Okay. Destroy resources. What's over here? Oh, frozen trees. I'm just going to put those two there, max up the engineers so we can get some people in here. Yeah, just putting these two all the way out here, it just allows me to have more stuff stored up. Six hours left on that. Steel wreckage depleted. Good. And we do, that's right, we do have the other, other two steam cores here. It's just cold here. Let's go ahead and send people out. I want to get this addressed as soon as possible. Once that's clear, we have two more steam cores, we can build up that coal mine. Or another automaton to put in the coal mine. Alright, we're 11 hours and we have to get there in three days. Alright, we're doing okay. Not great, but okay. So we can do a coal mine outpost, which I like. Food outpost, always good. 
especially since I have to research so many other things to take precedent. But with the amount of wood we have, I can only upgrade five homes at the moment. If I end up going for the steel steamworks, mind you. Uh, let's do resource depot upgrade. Okay, this building is fine on its own. It's actually comfy. Wrong button. So, steel steamworks. 21 wood, 15 steel. I'm gonna upgrade one of them. Right now. And then, for tech... Since it's generating its own heat, I'm kind of okay putting it out away from everything. This is just... Nasty. Okay. Can't even fit a building in there. Damn. This beacon's just in a bad place. Want to put more housing down in here. Also up in he here. Yeah. I'll go ahead. Where do I want to put it? I'll put it there, knowing that these two will probably be moved to other locations. Of course, I'm still not going for the tech I need to go for. Okay, one day out for more workers, three hours for a crap load of supplies. The automaton is building this thing? Okay, we're going to put rations in here. And I think we'll do... What do we have here? Wood, coal. We'll do steel in this one. Okay. There we go. Uh, where the, What happened? Here we go. Captain, one of our workers just got drunk. Now he's scaring people, shouting some nonsense about the lords. The lords are coming in that ship. You'll see. They're coming with that bastard of Lord Craven to take what's ours. If we had a guard station... Uh, we could shut him up, but I'll let him be. And as soon as the new law is available, before the end of the episode here, I am going to go into the order side of things, and I'm going to start putting some workers, or some, yeah, workers, in guard posts, and we're going to start bringing some order to the to our little frozen world. You want to check one thing real quick, though. Okay, I can't put tents in here and in here, so what I think I need to do... So I'm just going to put uh, that there, and then we'll just line both sides of these, so there's tents on both sides. And I could probably drop another steam core if these people get really, really pissy about the heat, or lack thereof. 106 steel, 82 raw food, 500 rations, 2 steam cores, 823 coal. Look, this is gone now, and it's no longer complaining. Let's immediately go and pop up a... I'm going to do one more automaton. And then we're going to build another uh, coal deposit out here. I want to have the coal run by automatons if possible. That way, I don't have to worry about heating this whole section. There we go. Because this thing, it's still running. I just need to get some better stuff going. Um, you, okay, Black Spire is already set. Damage snow cat, empty shelter... Yeah, so I'm going to send those guys this way. Um, don't get me wrong, the rock slide would be kind of a good thing to check, but I, th I need to start searching the other direction. We have plenty of food rations, which is good. And then once the resource depot upgrade is finished, we'll pivot and go back into that. We're about an hour from fin getting a new set of laws done up. I think I need to move those hunter's huts now, actually. Of course, bad placement on my part. Just god awful placement. Yeah, you can't even do that there. I gotta move this depot over to this. Let me go ahead, change that to food rations. Change that. Dismantle that building. Nope. Is that it actually? Resource depot. Yeah, that was it. That was the right thing. Whoops.
Go ahead and do that. New laws available. We're going for purpose. We're going to go neighborhood watch. <clears throat> Couple watchtowers. People feel safer living near a watchtower. So I can actually just put one right here and hook in a ton of people right away. There we go. I'll just put those two right there. And with that, I am at the 30 minute mark. So I'm going to put a cut in here. Next video, we're going to get to Black Spire, get that last little group coming in, get them back to the city. We're going to get everything housed up. We're going to start upgrading everything. I want to get people at least into bunk houses, as many people as I can into bunk houses as soon as possible. And I know the lords are going to show up at some point, and we'll deal with them at that time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.